Hello, this is Luke, and I'm just showing off this C++ Minesweeper clone that I made. As you can see, well, that was crazy. As you can see, uh, it's completely text-based, like my other C++ games that I made. Um, so, you have uh, X coordinates up here and Y coordinates up here, and you just type them in right here, and it uncovers the corresponding space. So, I just typed in, what was it? Um, M4, and that uncovered all this crazy stuff, so I'll just type in some other stuff just to show you. H2 uncovered right there, E2 right, uncovers right there, um, and so anyway, to flag mines, you start with you start with capital F. See the capital F, and so right here I can see that H7 is going to be a mine, so I'll flag it, and I'll keep going. H6 is good. H5 is good. G5 is going to be a mine. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm kind of happy with the way it turned out. It was mostly just for fun or and a little bit to get up a YouTube video because I haven't uploaded one in a very long time. So yeah, I haven't like made it super fancy or anything. As you can tell, the mine count uh, goes down every time you put a flag, so you know like how close you are to the end and you saw I started with 30 and that number is easily changeable it's just an integer number that I put in and you can change it at the beginning of the code and it affects the entire code um, basically how it works is there's a large vector of 260 components um, and at the very beginning of the code it randomly generates however many number however many mines you want it randomly generates that many numbers uh, in between 1 and 260 and then it puts um, it puts them all in place with another set of code. Then it goes through each space, and if it's not a mine, it detects the numbers around it to see um, how many mines are around it. And then it covers up everything with plus signs, and you take them away with these corresponding um, coordinates. So pretty cool. If you want to watch me, I'll try to finish this game. There's no like cute little U1 thing at the end or anything like that, but um, if you feel like it, check out my other my other C++ games that I coded. They're pretty cool. They're all text-based because they're just for fun and mostly because I have no idea how to add graphics to my games, unfortunately. Anyway, I'll just cut it here. Thanks for watching.